Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today I want to show you all a build with the new Festive Delivery Backpack. This is the premier new item that they've added with the 2023 Winter Event, and fortunately for us, a lot of people were worried that this new item was just going to be mainly for vanity, it wouldn't really have a lot of gameplay purpose. Turns out, it can be quite strong and fun if you pair it with the right things. So, in this video, I just wanted to give you guys a breakdown of what I've been running with it. I think this setup that I've made is a lot of fun, it's quite effective, and it makes you play a bit differently than you normally would with a lot of other builds, which is always fun. Before we get into it, I will just say that if you're looking for a guide on how to actually get this new backpack, I've already done a video on that. I will link it up in the top corner in the description, so check it out if you need to. But, without further ado, we'll dive into the build breakdown, and then I will show some further gameplay at the end. And if you want more Division 2 coverage like this, then be sure to click that subscribe button you already know. Let's go. And this is the build. Two main things that you're going to notice right off the bat that this is really kind of striving to achieve. One is to increase the potency and damage of our grenades so that the actual explosion effect, which is obviously what the festive delivery focuses on, is as powerful as possible. And then two, subsequently finding a way to make the grenade hit rate more consistent, meaning I think we all know that enemies will very uh, aggressively dodge away from grenades that you throw at them. So how do we lock them down so that the grenades actually hit and we can proc this talent the most often? Those are the two things that I really focused on here. Let's start with our primary though. Really the weapons for this build can be whatever you want. The main focus is the grenades and so whatever weapons you think are going to best complement that for you, you should do. I have a lot of crit built up on my pieces which we'll go over and so I thought that a pretty good complement would be an assault rifle and I went with the Savage Wolverine. This is the named honey badger that comes with perfectly close and personal. It deals with a lot of weapon damage for up close targets which is why we're going to be getting with stuff like the riot foam that again we're going to cover soon. So it just worked pretty well with what I was trying to do. Taking a peek at the crit stats I've got 48% crit chance, 147% crit damage. Damage. Both of those values can raise by a little bit if I were to optimize some of my pieces, but you get the idea that you can still get a lot of crit on this build while still focusing mainly on grenade damage, so that's very nice. For my secondary, again, you can use whatever you want. I thought the Scorpio was a good pick. Obviously, it is a very good staple for PvE content in this game, so I figured that would be no different here. The pistol, oh my gosh, for once the pistol actually matters. In one of my builds, we're using the TDI card to get the one skill tier, and you'll see kind of in my gameplay loop, I have this out whenever I go to engage in combat with the grenade specifically. And so not only is it giving the skill tier, but I also have Sledgehammer rolled onto here, meaning whenever I hit a grenade while this is equipped, it means that then they get the mark on them for 30% extra damage to be taken. And I can then swap back to my primary, whether it's the Savage or the Scorpio, and go to town. That's really the whole point here, is to make the grenade super potent on their own, and then whatever that doesn't finish off, you can then switch back and get the job done very effectively. So if you can get a card here with Sledgehammer, that is going to be a really good combination. Moving on to the gear, however, we get to our first piece, which is the mask. It is a Sombra piece. Now, this is the brand the festive delivery comes as, so it only makes sense to get a second piece of that because that then gives you the 15% crit damage and 15% explosives damage, and that's the key because that buffs up our grenade, which therefore makes that whole cycle more powerful. On here, I've got weapon damage, crit damage, crit chance, and a crit damage mod. For the chest piece, we have the Collector Exotic. My goodness, finally a build to use the Collector in that we got this season. Season. Didn't get a lot of usage at the start of the season, but now people are starting to use it with this combination. And that's because of the talent, which is called Hoarder. It gives you three grenade capacity. It gives you a 50% increase to grenade radius, 35% extra grenade damage, and an additional 25% grenade damage for every extra enemy caught within the blast. And again, we'll get to why that works so well with kind of how the rest of this build is set up. And then if you are below two grenades in your inventory, you regenerate one every 30 seconds. So this just works perfectly with what the festive delivery is trying to achieve. Can't recommend anything more than having the collector here in your chest piece slot. On here you got weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, and a crit damage mod. For the holster, we are using the Picaro's holster. It is the first of our two pieces of Brazos, which gives us 10% skill haste and one skill tier. And then on here I have a skill tier rolled, crit damage, and the weapon damage core that it comes with. Again, can't recommend anything more here. This is the perfect piece to synergize between the skill stuff that we're focusing on and the rest of the damage that we're making up for. So highly recommend you get a Picaro's there. Moving on to the star of the show, the festive delivery backpack. Again, if you need a guide on how to get this, you can check the link down in the description. But the main component to this is the fireworks show talent in which uh, your concussion grenades become festive grenades. And when you hit an enemy with one of them, it causes explosions to happen to two other enemies within 20 meters. That is why this works so well in high enemy density content because you can make these explosions happen across a wide area and affect a lot of enemies. And if you build it right, like you'll see in the gameplay with this, then it's very effective, the kind of damage that you can output. Now you can farm further copies of this thing from the hoarder enemy. I've yet to get one that is perfect, but I do have one with weapon 
damage, crit chance, and health. I'd rather obviously that health be crit damage so I could get even more out of this. But I think you get the idea of what I'm going for here. On to the gloves here, we have our second piece of Brazos, which has weapon damage, crit chance, and crit damage. And lastly, one piece of China Light to get that 15% explosives damage one piece brand bonus. And then on here, we have a skill tier, crit chance, and crit damage. Now, before we talk about the skills, I think you're starting to see the vision here. When I'm using the TDI card in combination with all the things I have on my gear, I have four skill tiers, and that greatly contributes to what we're using on our skill slot, which is the Riot Foam. What this allows you to do is greatly increase the rate at which you can land grenades. If you see a cluster of enemies, shoot them. With the amount of skill stuff that we have invested here, our ensnare duration is nine seconds. That is plenty of time to then pull out a grenade, throw it onto them, get the whole crowd, the explosions go off, and that's the whole chain right there. And the beauty of running the TDI card is that you pull that out before you shoot the riot foam, right? So that it gets the extra potency there. But if you keep that on while you throw the grenade, that also then gives you the bonus from Sledgehammer, and then you can switch back to your primary and go about it. So that is kind of the whole cycle and methodology behind this build, and so far it's worked really well and been quite fun. For my other skill slot, I'm running the Reviver Hive. You can run whatever you want here. I just like having that little extra bit of safety net. I'll touch on this just before the specialization. Be sure to always have the Concussion Grenade on when you're trying to run the Festive Delivery. That is the only grenade type that will work with these Festive grenades that it turns them into. It can't be one of the specialization grenades. It needs to be the concussion. But that finally takes us to our specialization, which is the demolitionist. And this is purely because you get extra explosives damage on the perk tree for this specialization. So that alone is enough of a reason. Use that over any of the other ones that then gives you some nice bonuses, like your teammates get extra damage to targets out of cover. You get the nice crit chance mod to put on your primary. And yeah, that about covers everything you should need to know about the build. So, there you have it folks, that is the build, like I said, I've been having a lot of fun with this. Definitely not a build avenue or playstyle that I've really explored before, so this has been pretty fun to experiment in and try out. It's not going to be a meta contender or anything that's going to knock your socks off compared to the likes of Striker and everything else, but it's fun, and who doesn't need a bit more of that these days? I'm gonna let a bit more gameplay run, I tried to diversify a bit between some solo content and stuff like Countdown where there's really high enemy density, so I hope you enjoy that. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts down below, have you picked up the festive delivery yet if so what kind of setups are you running with it any changes you'd make to the one i presented here whatever you're thinking leave it down below as always can't wait to read through it and that's going to do it for me today everybody thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next one rogue gold out